السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ گریشیس اینڈ مرسیفل ریسپیکٹیڈ بردر اینڈ سسٹر دا لبریشنس آف وومین واز ریویلڈ بائی گاڈ ٹو دا پرافٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مور دین فورٹین ہنڈریڈ ایئرس اے گو اینڈ اسلام کیم ٹو پروٹیکٹ دا رائٹس آف وومین اینڈ ریز دیئر آنر اینڈ اسٹیٹس ان سوسائٹی But my dear brothers, critics of the Islam, hijab traditions argue that women do not wear the veil by choice and they were often forced to cover their heads and bodies. Respected brothers, in con- uh, contrast, many Muslim women have already argued that the veil symbolizes devotions and pity and that willing is their own choice. To them, it is a question of religious identity and self-expression. Respected brother and sister, I want to tell you those who say that Muslim women are forced to wear hijab. My dear brother and sister, there is no compulsion in Islam. As Allah subhanahu ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 256, there is no compulsion in religion. True guidance has become distinct from air. Respected brother, there, is, there are many Muslim sisters who do not even wear hijab. No one is forcing them to wear it. And many Muslim sisters wear hijab of their own free will. They know that Allah has told them to do. Now I want to ask a question to them who gave you this right that you should tell which one to wear and did not. When the God has given them the freedom to wear according to their choice, then who are you to interfere in this? Rather, you are taking away this freedom of theirs and you want to pupil to wear what you want? My dear brothers and sisters, Islam's honor a woman in any roles she plays in her life as a mother, as a wife, and as a daughter. Both the Quran and prophetic traditions placed great emphasizes on the importance of respecting women and the great reward involved in showing her uh, this honor and respect that she deserves. As a mother, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was once asked, O Messenger of Allah وسلم, who among people is most deserving of my good treatment? He وسلم, said, Your mother. The man asked twice, then who? He وسلم, said, Your mother. The man asked third times, then who? Then who? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam given the same respond, your mother. The man asked the fourth time the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam respond, then your father. My dear brother, this means that the status of mothers three times more than, uh, than the father. My dear brother, as a wife, the Prophet ﷺ encouraged more men to treat their spouses in the best way as one hadith regarding this. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said, the best of you are those who are best in treatment to their wife. My dear brother and sister, most importantly, the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ in his final sermon before passed away made a direct address to the men telling them to be kind to their women, women folk. It is therefore an obligation upon the man to treat his women folk with utmost kindness. Okay, my dear brother and sister, see you again with some new topic. Allow me till then. Allah Hafiz.